Hi, my name is Alex with 8 Tech Tech Tutorials and today we're going to be talking about resolutions. I'm going to show you how to configure the resolutions and how to use the resolution. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of the video and if you have any questions about anything that I cover in the video, let me know in the comments section below. Let's jump into Jira. Okay, so within the world of Jira, I'm basically going to show you what a resolution does. So you may have noticed this already if you've been using Jira for some time, but essentially when you move an issue from pretty much any status that's not done into the status of done, you'll notice that the issue gets crossed out. Now this is really, really important because when an issue gets crossed out, it tells Jira that the issue is indeed complete. In other words, and Jira uses this word, it is resolved. And resolved versus unresolved is very key to basically driving a bunch of metrics in Jira because any issue that isn't crossed out is basically unresolved. And so the way you can confirm that an issue is indeed resolved is by opening and clicking on that issue and you'll see that there's two things that you're going to be looking for. There's a check mark that says done and most importantly, there's a section down here that says resolved and then it'll have a date timestamp on it. If your issue doesn't have that check mark or that resolved at the bottom, your issue is still going to count as open. And so sometimes the problems that people usually experience is that the issue, even though it's in the done column, it still shows up in your sprint. And that's because your issue or your workflow specifically isn't resolving that. Now we're not ready to talk about workflows. So I'm going to be leaving that for another video, but I am going to be basically talking about how you use the resolution and how you basically ensure that the resolution is being set. Specifically though, what if sometimes you want to make things done, but you don't want them to be done. Maybe they're a won't do, maybe they're a canceled, maybe they're a rejected, maybe they're a duplicate, right? And so sometimes you don't want the issue to be done. You want to call it something else. So let me show you first how to basically configure what options you have with respect to your resolution. And then I'm going to show you how to basically change it here so that when you do move an issue to done, you can set that. What kind of done is it? Is it a duplicate? Is it canceled? Is it rejected? Is it no longer applicable? Whatever you want, you can change that instead of it saying done. So let me show you what that looks like first. So we'll go into the gear here in the top left right corner. And so from here, I'm going to come down to issues on the left hand side of this navigation bar. We're going to scroll ourselves all the way down and we're going to see resolutions. Once you have resolutions here, you will see that these are the default. These are the values that are available for you to use uh, or, or your team to use in Jira. So you'll see the traditional done. You'll see a won't do duplicate and cannot reproduce. These are again out of the box and I didn't make any modifications. So if you wanted to do something like canceled, you can type in canceled here and click add. And then that's pretty much it. Now it becomes an available option. The question you're probably asking yourself though is every time I move my issue to done, it's always just defaulting to done. So the way you want to change that is you want to enable the user to essentially have the option to set the resolution. There's two ways to do it. One of them is a little bit more advanced and the other way is basically the way I typically recommend because it gives you options and I always like to give my users options. So let me show you how to do it with the options way, the way that you can basically tell your team, okay, team, when you do resolve an issue, here's how you set what kind of resolution it is. So you want to go back into your project. So I'm going to go back into my Thursday Jira project and I'm going to come down to project settings. From project settings, I'm going to come down to workflows. Once I'm in the workflows, I'm going to click on the little edit button because I'm going to be editing this workflow here. I don't like this view. This view confuses the heck out of me. So I always like to be in the diagram view because the diagram view is just always the easiest for me to look at. And so we're looking, what we're looking for in this screen is we're looking for status of done because when I move something to done, it automatically just goes to done, but I don't want that to happen. I actually want something special to happen. I want to be given the option to pick the kind of resolution, the kind of done that I want. And so to do that, you want to click on the little arrow here on the right hand side and you want to click on edit. When you do that, 
you'll notice that you have an option for a screen. And so what you're going to do is you're going to click into that screen. And this, this part can be, I don't want to say confusing or tricky, but it could be overwhelming depending on the number of screens that are in your system. So if you have like a thousand screens, you're going to be scrolling for a while. But if you're just kind of like a fresh out of the box Jira, you haven't done too many configurations with respect to your screens, then this next part shouldn't be too hard because all you got to do is go down to the R's and you'll see a resolve issue screen. So just click on that and then click save. All right, so now that I've added the screen and you'll see that the screen is here on the right hand side, there is one more thing to do. And now this depends on your configuration. So I want you to pay very, very close attention because this is going to vary from team to team or, or admin to admin. So please, please, please make sure you're paying attention in this section here because this is very, very critical. When you click on the little arrow for the done transition, you will notice a post function and it has a number. If that number is a five, you should be fine. You should be able to proceed and not have to make any changes. If your post function is a six or higher, you want to go in and check. And so we're actually going to open up this post function here and I'm going to check and see the post functions that I have. And you see that I have resolution is set to done. What this means is that any time that I move an issue to done, it is going to override the, the resolution to just be done. And I don't want that, right? Because I just added the ability to basically select the resolution that I want. So if you have that resolution set, click on the little X so that you can get rid of it. Because now we're going to be very proactive in selecting our resolution. We don't need this. Historically, you need it because most teams don't add that extra screen. And so when you move an issue to done, you just want it to go to done. Because if you don't, if you don't have that post function there, then the issue will never get resolved and it's always going to be open, right? And so you don't want that. So you have two options. You either A, put in that post function in there so that it always goes to done, or you add the screen for the resolution so that you're basically forced to set a resolution. I also recommend you make your resolution field required at that point though, because if you don't and somebody still resolves the issue without actually selecting from the dropdown, your issue is still not going to be resolved. So let's go take a look at what this looks like back in Jira after I remove the post function and after I have basically set that resolution screen in the transition. Once I publish my draft, I never do a backup. So once you publish your draft, we can go into our project and test it out. So we can come in here. I'm going to grab this tjc 10 I'm going to move it to done. I'm going to get the pop-up that says select your resolution. Notice how it's not required, which is what I'm telling you, if, if somebody clicks done and they didn't set a resolution, that issue is going to stay open. So it's going to cause headaches. So make sure you make that feel required at that point. Okay. And then we're going to move it to like duplicate, right? And so when I hit done here, TJC-10 has been updated. And now if I go and open it up, you'll notice that my issue is in a done status, but the resolution is a duplicate. So this is exactly what I wanted. It didn't get overwritten by it. But again, you're going to want to make sure that you set that resolution field to be required upon that transition. You're going to want to do that in the workflow as well, because if you make it mandatory using the uh, field configurations, it's always going to be asking for that resolution and you're not ready to set that resolution until the very end. So make sure you go through the workflow. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to make a video on that. I do have a video plan for where I'm going to be talking about workflows and things. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you drop a like. It's just technically not in the scope of this video, making fields required through the workflow. So make sure you go Google that for now or make sure you subscribe so you can come back in later and see how to make a field required from the workflow, not from the uh, field configuration. So that's pretty much it for this one. This is essentially how you set your resolution so that you don't always have to accept it done and how you can basically create whatever resolution types you want for you and your team and your company, whatever is in your process. This is how you're going to modify the existing values and how you're going to help your team make the right decision. That's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe, drop a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.